Hi all, welcome back to Auto 16 development tutorial videos. So in this video, we are going to discuss about record rules in Auto 16. In a business platform, there may be different types of records and it is essential to provide proper security for them. In Auto, this is managed using security groups and record rules. A record rule specifies who can access the record specified in that rule. This includes read access, write access, create access and delete access. So let's see how we can create a record rule in order 16. For that, open PyCharm. So here I have a custom module called tips and tricks. Inside the models directory, I have created a custom model called tips and tricks with some basic fields. Inside the views directory, I have created the view XML file also. Now let's go to the security directory. So we have to create an XML file for managing the security rules. So I have created an XML file called tips security.xml. Let's open that. So in this XML, I have already added some user groups for my custom module. So if you don't know how to create security groups in order 16, we have already done a video on that. You can refer that. After creating the security groups, we can create record rules based on the security groups. So here I have created two security groups. One is tips and tricks users and the second one is tips and tricks manager. Now let's create a record rule for a custom module. For that search model equal to ir dot rule since record rules are created inside the model ir dot rule. So you can see already created record rules inside the model ir.rule from here. So I am just copying this record and I am pasting it in my custom XML file. So this is the record for creating a new record rule. So I'm just changing the ID as tips and tricks manager rule and you can also change the name for the rule. The next one is model ID. So here we have to specify for which model we are creating the record rule. So I'm just going to my Python file and copy my model name and I'm pasting it here followed by the model underscore. Next one is the groups field where we can specify the security group for this role. So this rule I am creating for the managers. So I am just copying the record ID for my manager user group and I am pasting it here. The next one is read access, write access, create access and delete access. So I am setting all access as true for the manager group. The next one is domain force. Domain force help to filter out the records from the model. So we can just search for the domain force. And I am just copying this. And setting the domain force for managers as this. So that 
the manager group can access all records from this model. Now I am copying the same record and creating an another role for my user group tips and tricks users. So I am just renaming the ID. and the name as well. Now I have to change the groups as the user groups ID. Next one I am changing the permission. So I am just granting read and write permission for the user group tips and tricks user and I am setting create and unlink access as fonts. Now we can search for the field domain force to set a particular domain for the tips and tricks user group. I am copying this domain. And I am pasting it here. So here we can see that the domain is user id equal to user dot id or user id equal to false that is for the group group tips and tricks users they can access either their own records or the record for which user id is not set that is inside the trip tips and tricks model we have a custom field user id so the all the records will be filtered based on this user id field for the user group group tips and tricks users so we can see that how this will be affected in the user interface for that we can just restart the service and go to apps and then search for our custom app this is already in start so we can just upgrade this Now we can see the tips and tricks app here. Before that, we can go to the settings and users. Go to the administrator. So here we can see that the user group category for our custom module and the user groups that is tips and tricks manager and tips and tricks users. So currently the administrator is set as tips and tricks manager and save this and then go to tips and tricks module so here we can see that there are already three records for this model and this administrator can create a new record from here and also they can delete a particular record now i can see that for this record the user is set as administrator and for the second record the user is not set and for the third record the user is set as tips and tricks user so we can just go to our settings users again and we can see the user tips and tricks user here and we can check that the tips and tricks category is set as tips and tricks user that is this particular user tips and tricks user will be have access to all the records based on the user group so for this user group we have specified that they will be only having read and write access and also they will be only having access to their own records or those records for which the user is not set. So we can check that by logging in as this user. So I'm just logging out and I'm logging in as uh, that particular user and go to the tips and tricks module. So here we can see that they can't see the create button here since they are not allowed to create and they can also see their own records or 
the records for which user is not set. So for this record, the user is not set. And for this record, the user is their own record. And they can only see two records inside this model. So this is how record rules work in Order 16. Hope you have got the idea on this. Thanks for watching.